Hey everybody, it's Casual Boobs coming at you with another video, and today we're going to do Advent Calendar Day 21, and it is the Centurion Mark 5-1 RAAC, the British Tier 8 Premium Medium Tank for 6,800 gold, which is the cost of the tank plus 300 gold for the garage slot. Um, do I think this tank is good? Yes. Do I think you should buy this tank? Uh, yeah, I mean, if you, uh, if you like faster uh, hull down mediums and that kind of gameplay, and you're not... Um, turned off by a somewhat low alpha, uh, then yes, I think this is a really good tank. I really, really like this tank, um, personally. So anyways, yeah, so that's the quick and dirty. I'll go into the details now. Um, basically, I'm going to compare this thing to the standard Tech Tree Centurion, and then this middle one is the Centurion 5.1, the one we're talking about, and this is the 4202, which is essentially kind of the other, um, the red-headed stepchild of the, of the British medium tanks. Uh, and they're fairly similar in a lot of ways. And I, you can read all this on Tanks GG yourself, so I won't read it to you. But the gist of it here is you get about about 10% better gun handling on the Centurion 5.1. Um, but I believe that that's somewhat offset by the fact that it's a, a, a tad bit slower. I'm sorry, a tad bit faster. So because the tank itself is going faster, these good gun stats, you know, we talked about this in previous videos, the dispersion values are a function of the tank's speed. So because it tends to go faster, the... Um, the gun, uh, because these these good gun stats are somewhat offset by that. Now, in the same token, the for, the forty two oh two should have a better gun, or I'm sorry, it should have a worse gun. It does, yeah, it has a worse gun and it's faster, which uh, you know it has it has not as good power to weight, but it has really really good ground resistances. So it's a little bit faster than the five one. For that reason, I hate the forty two oh two, and I have a substantially different win rate over a not you know, like I don't know like a hundred games between my Centurion 5.1 and my 4202. Like, I think I have something like a 54% win rate or 56% win rate in the 50, in the 5.1 and something like a 46% win rate in the 4202. Uh, because the gun, you notice the derpiness, in my opinion. I do not like the 4202, and it doesn't have very good armor, but I'll get into that. Um, but anyways, this is about the 5.1. I think the 5.1 is excellent. So it has a little bit snappier gun, and it, it get, it's a little peppy, you know? It's definitely, like, uh, better than the Tech Tree tank. That's um, unfortunate. But it's not so much better that it's, like, if you're in a Centurion 1 and you're a very good player, and someone else is in a Centurion 5.1 and they're not very good, you could still win that fight in your Centurion 1. It's just, like, two equal players, and one's in a Centurion 5.1. The Centurion 5.1's probably going to win win the fight. That's just, you know... And that, so that's a little bit unfortunate. I don't really like that as far as a game design thing. But the other thing is that you will um, the, the, the hull armor is better, and we'll I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but you can see here the, for a lot of the ways, uh, a lot of the comparisons here, they're very similar tanks. Uh, view range is worse on the forty two hundred two because um, <laughs> for just another way to make it not as good. Uh, but yeah, the armor you've seen this on the. Um, on the it's the same as the Primo Victoria or I guess the unskinned STRV 81 same exact armor layout it's pretty good until you get like tier 10s and tier 10 shooting heat and premium rounds and stuff but like you know it's pretty good especially if you're using gun depression and so on then 230 alpha pew pews over ridges and all that stuff it, it, same as before right 226 standard pen is fine like the gun is good um and the, and the armor is 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 also fine I will like I said the uh, the the 120 millimeters on the front I guess I should say this. The regular Centurion 1 on the front of it has 76, which is pretty much cheese, if we're going to be honest here. Um, pretty much cheese, yeah. So, you know, it's angled, but 76 can only get you so far, right? So the big thing here is the Centurion 5.1 has a similar shape, but it's got like this little welded extra bit that's welded on there. So it's 120. And so what that means is that when you're using some gun depression, and you're poking over ridges. If you poke too far, you know, and someone and you expose this part of your hull, someone shooting that is going to have a lot of tougher time penning than in a Centurion Mark One. So this is probably the most substantial difference between this tank and the the Tech Tree Mark One, is that the hull armor um, is more forgiving, right? So that's the primary reason I like it uh, more than the Centurion Mark One. Now, <clears throat> redheaded stepchild 
uh, over here. It just has this funky looking, I mean, I have bounced shots off the hull of this thing, right? If it's angled all funny, but like the turret is cheese. This is why I hate the thing. It's, uh, you don't even have to tap two, but it's just, it's just absolute cheese all over the place. So it, God forbid someone taps two. So maybe this is why I thought the gun was so derpy is I didn't have the time to aim as much because I felt like I had to poke out, snap the shot and poke back in before I got shot in the forehead, right? Like this. So yeah, auto bounce angles are a thing, but like heat doesn't care about auto bounce angles and you can't always be using your gun depression. And this part below the gun is a round, you know, it's flat. So if someone's, you know, if you if you don't do this properly, they should, anyways, 4202 is garbage. The Centurion 51 is not garbage. And I think if you uh, enjoy the hull down, pew pew kind of pseudo flexible thing, then you're gonna like the Centurion 51 RAAC. I think that you should buy it. Uh, I have been experimenting with the turbo. I'm not necessarily convinced that's the best way, but it is fun. So, um, yeah, so that's that's day 21, and we'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks. All right, bye.